The Goal Seek feature is used to solve problems with only one variable. For example, I've got a problem here where I've got my payment function, you can see it up in the formula bar, it's based upon these three cells, the principal amount, interest rate, and the months. My problem is, is that I want a monthly payment of $500 because that's what I can afford. If I go ahead and I type in $500, it erases the uh, function, and that doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't update the months or the interest or the principal amount to narrow it down to $500 a month. So let me go ahead and undo that. Instead, what GoalSeek does is it takes the value or the results of the function here and says, okay, the results are $339. You want it at $500. That's fine. But what's the variable? What can I mess with to get this amount? Should it be the months? Should I go ahead and decrease the months? to kind of give you a larger payment so you have to pay it off in a shorter amount of time or the interest rate or the principal amount. I mean you could come over here and try to guesstimate 40. Ooh, getting close up to $500. Let me go ahead and hit undo or just get right to the point not have to keep guessing and punching in numbers. Using GoalSeek it'll nail it for you the first time. Go ahead and select the uh, cell that contains the formula and then come up here go to the uh, data tab, go to the data tools group, click on the what if analysis and go down to GoalSeek. Okay, it says what cell is being set, the one that has the formula in it, which is F4. That's fine. Otherwise, I'd have to go ahead and click the collapsible dialog box button and go ahead and select the cell, and then hit enter to pop it back open. And then what value do you want to change it to? I want it to be $500. Now, what cell can Excel change to give me the exact end result of $500? Well, the variable, or the one variable, is going to be this cell right here. Okay. Click OK, boom, there you go. It says the target value is 500. To get this at 500, you're going to have to change the cell to decrease the time or the amount of months to pay this off. You'll pay it off quicker, the principal amount, of course, if we pay it um, not over 40 months, but about 32 and a half. Am I OK with this or not? Click Cancel. If not, then I can go ahead and try something else. What if, goal seek, I set that value for that cell to, let's say, 450 by changing, let's choose something else. Let's do the interest rate. Click OK. Wow. If we can't change the months, but we can afford a $450 payment, our interest is going to be ridiculous. 21%. Uh, I don't like that. Click Cancel, and it reverts it back to what I originally had it as. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.